Hey folks, in this video, I'm going to be covering simple screen recording and presentation software tools that you could run on both Windows and Mac. So this video is going to be covering how to use OBS and also how to use Descript, two of the most popular softwares, I believe, to help record your screen or make simply a video like this that I'm sharing on screen right now. I'm recording with a DSLR camera, but then also I'm recording my MacBook M3 Max screen. If you're new to this channel, this is my personal channel where I give a more in-depth look at how to grow a personal YouTube channel in the lines of increasing, ultimately increasing your revenue stream. So I'm Alan F. Reddy. I run the BloodLogic Tech channel, which has to, at the time of this recording, 2.4 thousand views and I've been monetized and I also have to about 1.5 million views across my channel. And what I aim to do in this personal channel is help newer YouTubers grow their channel to get monetized and start making money online. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at what we can do to get this party started. Hey folks, if you're watching this section and made it here, this is the difference between my personal channel and Blend Logic Tech in that I go in more details over the content. So now that you are here, hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. This channel is not monetized, so I'm putting in more effort to answer questions or really just see what people have to learn from this personal channel. Now, what I want to showcase is that once you go into Descript, it usually lands here in projects. You could go into quick recordings and do quick recording. It will show the FaceTime out. So this is literally coming from my MacBook Air, which is somewhere else in the house, but you can turn that off, turn on the microphone settings, and depending on what you want to showcase, here it's literally a, the MacBook is pointing to the floor. You could do just capturing your camera so that you'd be talking in the camera and, and it would go straight into Descript. Or you could talk and just record over your screen and then you would have an edited presentation that you could then edit with transcription editing based on Descript software. So that's how you get into using Descript. The next thing I wanted to cover is how to use OBS. So let's open OBS on my MacBook as well. Let's see here, OBS software. All right, folks, so what we're gonna be talking about now is a more in-depth OBS tutorial. Once you first load OBS, you may be brought with something here. We have scenes and sources. I have a profile set up called YouTube and a scene collection called YouTube and my others is called Untitled. It's pretty much my work setup when I need to record work like uh, my actual full-time nine to five job. Let's talk about scenes. So scenes are a collection of sources. So the normal source you'll be putting in is usually the Mac OS screen capture. With this screen capture, it basically lets you record the screen, but there are other options such as window and application capture. So if you wanted to just record a window, you would select that and application window is the same thing, but it just records everything from that application. So you could even record Teams, you could record Outlook, you could record Google Chrome. So that's how you would set it up. And then usually what you'd want to do is create a new scene or let's duplicate it. So now I have a scene that's desktop and I'll say desktop plus video. Now that you have your desktop recorded, you also want to do a video capture device. And this could be ranging from FaceTime to your, if you have an iPhone connected on Max, could do that. The FaceTime camera I have is showcasing the floor because I have this set up as a, like kind of my MacBook Air as a server right now. So that's why you're seeing what you're seeing here. And then you could just always turn it on and off. If you're making content to be like Descript, what I would do is minimize it so that it's not taking up the full kind of canvas and you could just position it anywhere you want it to be. Let me see what happens if I hide OBS from capture. Yep, we'll, we're gonna showcase what's behind OBS, which is Descript. So now if you imagine this was, if I actually had my laptop in front of me, you would be recording your content over OBS. Now there are some settings you need to be aware of. Typically they go into the output settings. So the larger this number is, the better the quality will be. And then here I use, I typically recommend doing software encoding or you could try the hardware out and see which there's some testing involved when you use OBS and this is both for recording content and streaming content. Lastly, typically in the output, if you're streaming to, let's say the internet, Twitch, etc., 
you want to stream at 1080p at least. 720p helps with the bandwidth, but if you guys can support it, I would recommend re recording in 1080p. That is, in general, my take on an expansion of how to use Descript and also how to use OBS. If you guys have any questions, leave some comments below. Hope you guys subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next channel. And remember, we're going for the travel, the technology, and the tutorials. So that's what this portion is about. Hope you guys use technology to accelerate your life. As I covered in one of my last videos on this personal channel, good to great technology is an accelerator. Let's turn your guys' lives from good to great. See you in the next one. Peace.